Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're going to take a look at Far Cry 3's map editor. And this time we're looking at the map Oil Arsenic 2 by the user Neokinesis. And this is an amazingly detailed map. It kind of looks a bit higgledy-piggledy with all these props and objects placed within it. It's hard to actually say what this actually is. Is it a mining area? Is it a Martian planet? Is it an industrialized secret base? It's absolutely incredible with the amount of detail that's been put into this map. Now, whether any of it is tangible, whether any of it makes sense is a different issue. But um, in terms of actually being a playable map, I think it's really cool. And I think others have played it as well, have said that it's really cool as well. So. I mean, just even you a fly through here, you've got so many different objects, so many places to hide, so many different routes to take, so many avenues, lots of spawn points, lots of detail, and just a general kind of crazy map that players can just run around, hide and camp and do whatever they like in. I mean, the detail is staggering. Although I will say you can actually escape outside the map, I've tried that and you can enter this kind of bleak no man's land. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. I'm not sure why um, Neo Kinesis left that open because really you want to have the combat condensed into this kind of central area. Now there's one thing else that I really do like about this map and that's the um, tunnel that he's created, if I can just find it goes by the side of this rock here so you can see the outside of it here I'm just going to jump in and have a look at that I mean it's not a huge map but it's just so full of detail that um, I think it'd be quite difficult to um, find other players and you'll have to really use your senses of uh, listening to where the gunfire is coming from. I mean, this, this tunnel that's being created here is, is incredible. I mean, this is just one facet of the entire map. And you just come out here and you've got multi-tiered levels, climb up the ladder. I mean, it's just a crazy ass map. It's got a bit of everything in it. Opportunities for sniping, camping, run and gunning, you know, all sorts are going on in this map. I could just imagine 16 players having a crazy time in this map. It's almost like it's somebody's warped nightmare come to life. You've entered someone's nightmare world and this is their hell that they go to every night when they go to sleep because that's what it feels like. It just does not make any kind of sense. But everything is familiar, from those radar dishes, to the walkways, to all the debris and other bits and pieces that's been thrown into this map. So check this map out, it's really good. I like it. It's got loads of atmosphere, and I think it's um, pretty cool, as others have attested to as well when they've played it. Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching.